were watching the Genshin anniversary concert together in Slime Chat since Twitch got rid of the hosting. Cause usually we would watch via hosting in my Twitch chat, but yeah. Yeah, thank you Vitaler for hosting the encore of the concert because a few people came a bit late, but I am fine with that because they're probably going to be listening to this the whole month, especially during art stream, so. But yeah, it was good. I felt like it was a little rushed though to get to regions. I would have been okay if they didn't get to Sumeru this year. Um, just so we could get more Ekonomiya, Chasm, and event songs, but it was still really good, especially the character things. And then, um, the Chinese opera gave me goosebumps. Even though they did do a live of it for the last mini concert, but hearing it again is just always chef's kiss. But yeah, listening to his concert just like reignited like that love of Genshin for me. I've been really struggling playing because I'm trying to get a lot of things done. But yeah, I mean, I still try to play and remake it, but it's really hard to keep up with the events. But I still do like Genshin. Getting through stories sometimes is hard, but the lore is really good and worth it in the end. Okay, look, it's band made again. <laughs> I was surprised that they were here. I was like, wait, that looks like bandmade, and it was because it says on the drummer's um drum kit as well, bandmade, and I was like, oh, it is them. <laughs> Rue deserves better. But yeah, I liked the storyline for this island a lot. Here's some sketches I did for November's Patreon rewards, and then I have Mushroom Girl here because. I remembered this illustration I was doing for October last year, and it's very like autumn themed. Like mushrooms are very, mushrooms are usually associated with like autumn, so it is like an option. But I don't know if I would do it under Patreon stickers since um, I usually let them vote. But I will probably put it in my shop. I make a new mushroom girl. That's a possibility. Ooh, I also have my Nintendo Rewards because there's Pikmin ones. Alright, I can get this card. But these stickers and this bag is pretty cool. I don't think I have 800 platinum points though. This would be such a nice bag for grocery shopping. And then the stickers are fresh. Oh my god, they have roost coasters. But I don't have enough reward points. <laughs> I only have 240, I think. <laughs> Sad. I used to have so many platinum points, but now they're all gone because they expire. That feels bad. I really want- there's so many cool things though. I want the roost coasters and then I want the, the tote bag the most, I think. Because I love stickers. I love stickers, but yeah, I like useful products now that I'm older, I think. So this tote bag would get used as a shopping bag for grocery shopping. And then the coasters I would definitely use. But yeah, here's all the platinum stuff. I have enough to get the Pikmin card, but nothing else. Everything is like 400 plus. Oh yeah. I started using the Puck Camp like a few months ago. Maybe I should start playing again to get platinum points up. <laughs> I need the points. I was going to bed, getting ready for bed, and Vitala told me he was dropping off some stuff because they left. I accidentally left the Undertale stickers with him. Oh, there we go. I got these from the Undertale Cafe to give to my patrons for the pen pal tier. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm mailing out everything this week, so I'm glad he dropped those off for me. He gave me a few other things. Got a Pachaco. Cute. Hangyodon. Becky. And a Pom Pom Pudding. Thank you, kind Bitala. I'm gonna give my haircut. 
He's actually really good with haircuts. He's not so good with the baths. Tried my best. Couldn't get his arms or legs too well, but I tried to trim a bit with scissors. It's looking a lot better, Milo. I want to take a picture of him, but he doesn't. He just wants to leave. He's mad at me. He's always mad at me after a bath. Milo isn't even my dog, but my family always pawns the washing on me, and then he hates me. Milo, you're so soft now. It's my turn to take a shower, because after I give Milo a bath, I always get very itchy. And the thing that I feared would happen, of course happened, is my asthma is acting up. This is why I don't like doing the washing, but my family kind of just won't do it otherwise. Okay, I just got a shower after giving Milo a haircut and a bath, and my asthma has calmed down a little bit, but my- I mean, I still can't breathe as well, and then my face- <laughs> And my hands and my- well, both my hands and arms are like feeling very tingly, which I'm pretty sure is not normal. But yeah, I need to tell my mom that she needs to bring Milo to the groomers because I can't do it because I- yeah, my like health issues, like my sensitive skin and then the asthma issue. Like I wore a mask today hoping that it would help, but it didn't at all because I still got breathing issues after. I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating because like- your family pawning more stuff on you when it's like not your responsibility like i do like milo but to be fair milo is my brother's dog first and then he he brought milo home and then didn't really take care of him kind of just like pawned it on my mom and my mom started like having to feed him and all that like my mom feeds milo and all that that's why i was pretty against my brother getting my mom another dog after pondro passed away like i get the sentiment that he wanted to get the dog so she wouldn't be lonely but the issue is like she doesn't take properly take care of them i feel and then from that them like none of them wanting to like take care of milo's like bathing and stuff and, and then but then i feel bad for milo of course and then it's like well i should help my mom i guess but that, <laughs> that's the thing that <laughs> bugs me is like it's kind of frustrating because then i get it pawned on me sometimes i can't obviously like skin and breathing issue wise like yeah anyways i had to tell my mom that she needs to bring him to the groomers if she's not gonna do it at home because i can't do it because i am getting really bad because i'm getting a really bad reaction right now like the asthma issue like it calmed down a little bit right now but i'm still having trouble breathing and then my face and my arms are feeling very tingly which is not normal so yeah Milo looks really good though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's just frustrating when it's like not your responsibility, but then they make it your responsibility. And then, especially when it is detrimental to your health and they don't care about it because they just don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things that bothers me because it's like, I've told my mom before that like I can't um, bathe Milo because he makes my skin very itchy. But then she'll make excuses like, oh, like, oh, I would do it, but I'm scared of getting water in his ear. But it's like, <laughs> we have like a shower head to give easy showers. Yeah, and then at that point, it's just like excuses and it's frustrating to deal with because it's like, it's your fur baby, you should take care of him and, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's that thing again about like being for things being forced onto you that you didn't intend to do like like um i have work to finish today and then that took up time and then now i'm having like the breathing issues and like the weird fuzziness issues that i'm gonna have to take a rest for a bit before i like hopefully that it'll like calm down and then i can like work on stuff but yeah <laughs> but yeah it's like and it's like it felt so bad for Milo because he's like you saw that he was like kind of like dirty and like his hair was like getting pretty long so then at that point it's like oh, i'll try to give my little a bath and a haircut and then i hoped that the mask would help me but it didn't <laughs> so yeah i think i'm gonna have to tell my mom to bring milo to the groomers because i can't do it 
But yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like, should have thought of that before you got a doggo. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, I like Milo a lot. He's a cutie pie. But I can't be like the one that they shove giving him a bath and haircuts too because my health issues with that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. But like I said, my face is feeling very tingly and my arms as well. So I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> No, I was adjusting my seat and my favorite bracelet broke and they're all like sinking into the crevices of the cushion now. I'm so sad. today because I streamed a bit longer than I expected to. I streamed but then like and I was really tired by the time I ended but then I, when I got in bed because I guess because like washing your face and then brushing your teeth you get re-energized a little bit but yeah I laid in bed for quite a while. Anyways I posted the um November designs on Patreon for people to vote on and um slime copia seems to be winning. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do for November, but then I was like, Autumn, but then Autumn's so vague, and then I wasn't sure what I could do, but I ended up having a lot of ideas, so, and then the stickers, there's a bunch too. To be honest, a lot of the designs could be stickers or postcards, but, um, I did a lot of drinks, because <laughs> Autumn, warm drinks, I don't know, I like holiday season and Autumn drinks are like, a cute motif. Yeah. I might do is like a slime cafe sticker pack in the future or sticker sheet. But for now, um the point of the Patreon designs are like for everyone to vote for the design they want made first and then um we go from there. <laughs> but yeah, designs are up for voting, they'll be up for a week. But today I'm gonna spend it um printing and packing things so got busy another busy day ahead of us ultra premium paper thick I'm probably gonna have to redo the postcard size for the next batch, but I had to try to fit four and onto the page and hopefully they're not too small, but I'm going to test print now. Yeah, I feel like it took forever to align and all that, but I guess it's expected since it's been powered off until I needed it. I don't like how it's looking. Uh oh. I do not like how it looks. Also, it got cut off. It's looking kind of grainy. I don't know if it's the printer setting or what, because the stickers were fine. I might have to mess with the settings again. Oh no. Okay, this one looks a lot better, if you can tell. This is very spotty. This one's a lot cleaner. I'm using uh, the Ultimate Matte. Maybe next time I will get a glossy paper? I don't know though, because I do like matte, but for postcards, maybe it needs a little bit of shine. But yeah, I'm glad after all the fi those little fixes, the color is actually nice now because <laughs> this would have been very bad. Trial and error. Wasted paper, but 
there apparently is a wider side, and it's really hard to tell, but the top one is the wider side. <laughs> On video, it looks the same. In person, it's like barely noticeable. But yeah, that's why I wasted some paper. So I'm not sure I'll be able to do the postcard backside that I wanted to do originally because it would be printed on the wrong side and then so it'll end up like this. And I don't know, like maybe it'll work out for the back because it's like not a, it's just like postcard like lines. I can test print, but yeah, it's, I don't know, I think I, I think in the future I might just do stickers here and then get postcards, um, order postcards so I can do the back or I don't know, maybe, or I don't know, maybe my patrons will be okay with, you know, postcard backing at the moment and just get the prints because I can do the print okay but I'm not sure if I can get the back postcard prints because it'll turn out like this because apparently there is a wrong on the right side with this paper. Now I'm testing to see if the postcard backing will work. Actually, it's looking okay for the back. Okay, it actually looks okay for the back, so I think I can print the postcard back, so that's good. Yeah, since it's not a full color in the illustration, I think it printed okay, so I, I can do the postcard back. Um, these prints, I think I'll put in my shop, but not with, as a postcard, but just as a normal print. But the Patreon uh, ones will be actual postcards. Maybe I should print one more extra in case I do an accident cutting. I don't know. Let's see. I have five uh, physical reward patrons at the moment, so I think this should be okay. Because I printed out eight, so I'll have extra. And then these other ones will be normal prints in my shop. Um, some of them are B-grade because the spider leg gets cut off. Trial and error, sadly. And then here is the other prints and the postcard is printed in good spots, I think. As long as the bat isn't cut off. So, yeah. I think I should mark what end is the white side because I think that's what throws me off, so. And then that, it's smooth sailing. Okay, I added a reminder for myself for the future, so I won't have to deal with it, but I can also look at my uh, failed prints to check the the comparison of the whites. I like how they turned out. They look, things always look a lot better once they're printed. Like if it looks nice on the computer screen, I'll look even better printed. Okay, all the prints slash postcards are printed, front and back sides. I just need to cut them now and then I need to print out the stickers and then set up the silhouette, which I'm kind of nervous about because I'm probably going to have to troubleshoot that too. And then my desk is also a mess again, <laughs> so I have to make space for it to put on my desk. Yeah, I need new business cards because it's been a while since I updated them, and I don't think my new website is on them as well, so whoops. But uh, I'll just make quick postcard thank you cards to put with the mail. Hi, it's editing by. I will end the vlog here because it's been a crazy week and I'm kind of behind in vlogs again still. <laughs> but I don't want to overwhelm myself by going through more footage right now, so we'll end it here at the postcards and the next vlog will be the stickers. And thank you to my patrons for the support. It's viewers like you that make these videos possible. <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys.
Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that like. You can always follow my social medias to keep up with me, especially Twitter or Instagram. But take care, stay cute all. Bye!